Alright, I'm going to do a quick video on how to template your windows and cars. If you know how to template a car, then you should be pretty good. It's a pretty simple procedure. Um, if your vehicle has only one LO like this, then it's fine. If you have multiple LOs, you'll just probably have to create copies of the ones you've templated. But, so for starters, we just want to turn everything off and get the windows turned on. So you have the two front windscreens in the back, and then the door windows. I'm not even going to worry about decompounding them, because they'll be fine. So, your, your total, six. Then we want to create a new material. Make sure you put it as vehicle generic V glass. I'm just going to call it whatever, so you can call it. It's like whatever your choice is on what you want to call it. Uh, we're going to call it window template. Open it up. Make sure in user defined options you add crash, just to make sure the glass actually breaks. The main detail you just want it to be vehicle generic small spec map, and then I don't really worry about the rest. Then we want to select all these windows, and it'll come in as two. So there'll be two. There'll be an interior one. And an outer one, so that's fine. I'm just gonna select them both. There we go. Then we have one as UV map, one as perspective, polygon mode, and then we just start. So as you can tell, there's two different, like there's an inside and the outside. I normally just template the outside, then the inside first. It can be a little annoying, but that's fine. So we just wanna go and select the front, front view, right click mapping, edit UV. Then when we, we make sure it's on UV map one, Gener uh, generate new these two and XY force mapping and we want to do it to window template click OK then go to material it's here so I'm trying to move this down and now we just continuously do the exact same thing for the next like five windows but what I do for the side ones is I just do them together because otherwise there's not much of a point in doing a singular it's the exact same area fucking buttons I'll just keep on doing this real quick. Uno momento. i take a second. If wants to select. Fuck, keep selecting the inside ones. That's like, no. Okay, just, there we go. Right view. Make sure you're always going on left and right view. So if it's like the right side of the car, you're on the right side, if you're on the left, etc. So, in the back. And you go back view. Now I normally just like, it can be a little annoying on how to template the windows and that, so I just do the interior ones, uh, the inside of the glass if it has it, into like a little box, so then you can just make it as dark as you want. So we just want to go here, like this, select all the interior ones, make sure you're selecting the interior, not the outer ones, if they are, if your car is set up like this. It should be good, that's none of them selected. Then I just do this in top view. And then I come in here. Now we sort everything out. Scale this down. We put this top corner. Grab these. Scale these up a bit so the whole thing doesn't look retarded. Then we go ahead and do this. Do this. And this. Just sort them out so they're not as like crammed together. Otherwise, it just makes me annoyed at it. That's fine. Then you click the render button. I just ordered 4K, 4K. Make sure the black, uh, the little button down here is black. Click render. At that render. Awesome. Save. Desktop. I just call it whatever. I'm just gonna call it test. Cancel. Go out of the rendering. I just go back in 3D. Then we want to come in here, and I'll just do like a basic color and shit like I want to normally do. If we come into here, go to Zika. Uh, my logo. Open. Control A. New layer. And then, this is a 2018 F450, so we'll just go like this. Um, you won't have any of this stuff, but this is just what I do. Because of um, plugins. Then I just up it, and make it 8 8. And I like to just make this, uh, where is it, white. And then this, okay, just a, or is it the other way? Maybe the other way. Okay, yeah, there we go. Make it a little bit brighter. There we go. Then we can just move this around, just scale it down. Good enough. Then we want to go ahead and create a new layer. This is paint on that, by the way. If you don't have it, I'd recommend getting it. Put this to five. White. Just do a, like a type of square, but try and like make it 
somewhat like the same. Oh, it's gonna annoy everyone. Should be good. We can go text and we can do inside of Windows up to like 72. Center, we, we don't want 72, well, it's gonna annoy my OCD, but we'll just like there, bold it. So now we want to come here. Let's do sometimes I like to do the colors of my um, logo, so we can go here, which is like this blue, and then we'll make it like a stop here. Go back on this one, select here, then we're just gonna do the gradient, we'll go inwards to out. There's just a lot of tweaking you do, it just depends on how you like it, what it looks like in that. Good enough. Same for this one. I don't normally colour the one at the top right, but just for this video I will. There's not much of a point not doing it. And then we want to create another layer. You don't need so many layers, but it's just how I do it. That's all your personal preference. I'm just going to go back to the same font I used before. We're going to do so. This will be the rear windscreen. I just like to insignify what they are because sometimes people don't know. And do front windscreen. Then you see, sometimes you forget, but because it's, it's left side, this will be left side. Left side windows. And I'll just put this in the middle so it's like there. Right side windows. All set up. Now we just go file, save, uh, window template. I just call that. It's what you should always call, or like 14 uh, F450 Windows, blah blah, whatever you want to do. Open your material, then change the spec map and make it the window template. Add and boom. So that means they're all fully templated now front windscreen, right side, rear windscreen, etc. And then you can use these type of window templates for in game type of stuff. So let's. Uh, Go and open another one, just open this one quickly. So if you wanted like um, tint, we can go ahead and make this black real quick. Some this is what I do for my type of vehicles. So front windscreen. I always select and make this black. Front windscreen for opacity, I do 150. Then these front windows for like a vehicle. I do 175. And then I do 200 for these make sure it's on different layers otherwise it's not going to work properly and then just do the same what you're gonna have to do a little bit is because of the way I've set it up is front windscreen we could just go here copy this a little bit we can actually go like this front windscreen it's probably a lot simpler way but this is how I've always done it so it's a lot of personal preference just like this this will make sure the tin is the exact same as the front window in the front but this can also work if you're putting like a um, a photo or something on it so we just make that black then these two are these two windows as you can see so I'm going to come here just a matter of selecting these real quick a moment and then we just black these two out and then we got these being the same so it's just a lot simpler we can just go like that and like this and then we can remove this and you've got your tinted windows basically so this is a can be good for either having your tinted windows if you are too lazy or don't know how to like stop light bars and headlights and that tinting but it's also good if you're using it on like a vehicle that you want to put like a little logo on the window or something but it's a pretty simple one to do um if you need any help comment or join the discord that's in the description and uh, you know yeah enjoy